Hello everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to share a document, but not allow it to be downloaded. This is useful if you want to control what the person that you share the document can do with it. So if you wanna stop them from taking a copy or working on it offline, or even printing it, you can do it using this tip I'm about to show you. And if you want a more detailed overview of sharing in Office 365 before we start, hit the link in the top right hand corner now and that will take you to a video that will explain it. I'll show you how to do this from OneDrive and from a SharePoint team site. And I'm going to start in OneDrive. I've got my list of files here and if I select a file, I've got the two buttons that allow me to share the file. Share and Copy Link. And you can see over here on the far right hand side in my sharing column, document is currently private which means only I can see it because it's in my OneDrive. So if I come to the share button here you'll see that by default anyone with this link can edit that means it's an anonymous link. Now if I press on this button here you're going to see the list of four options that you have for sharing. Now down here at the bottom you're going to see this toggle called block download. Now block download is only available for these two top links that anyone and the people in your organization. So you'll notice that when I click on the second one, you can see the block download, but when I click on the last two, it's not there. So it's just these two we have to play with at the moment. So the difference between these two is one is anonymous and one is for people in your organization. So basically anyone who has a login to your Office 365 tenant. In this case, my organization is called Contoso, which is a Microsoft default, but your organization will be written there. Now, if I choose anyone, that's gonna be anonymous, and you'll see at the bottom, the block download toggle is actually grayed out. That's because this allow editing checkbox has been checked, so the link I'd send would be an edit link. To enable block download, you need to uncheck allow editing. Because when we share an anonymous link, it has to be read only if we want to block the download. So once allow editing has been unchecked, we can then go to the block download toggle and just switch it on. Now when I hit apply, that means the link I will send to the person will have those settings in it. So they'll be able to open up the file as read only and they won't be able to either download or print the document. I'm gonna put an external person in here. So I've got a, an external uh, Gmail address. This is outside of my organization. I'm just gonna choose that. So it's got this Gmail account listed here. Um, and I could put a message in here. And then you hit send. So that's gonna send the email with the link to the person that you specified. Okay, I've switched browsers now to the recipient of the email. So the person I just shared with. And you can see here, in my Gmail inbox, I've got this email, and if I click on, I can see here's my file. You can see it's been sent from the sharer. I've got the, the little notification at the top here that this link will work for anyone, which is true, because it's an anonymous link, and a little bit of information about where it's come from. So just to open up the document, I press the open button. It's gonna open up a new tab and take me to the document. So you can see it's opened up in the browser, and I've got no editing tools available to me, but I can see the document and you'll see this yellow bar across the top that says we don't have permission to download or print the file. And you can see if I go to any of the ellipsis controls, there's nothing that allows me to do that. Switching back to the sharers view, so back in Office 365 in the OneDrive, I just wanna show you the other option we had there, which was to share with people in our organization. Again, I've got my document selected by business case doc. I come to the top and go to the share button. Now this time, rather than the anonymous link or the anyone link, I'm gonna choose people in Contoso, which is my organization. So you'll see people in your organization there. So when I select it, again, block download is grayed out because it's not available until you uncheck allow editing. Then you can toggle on block download and click apply. Now we have a link that we can send to people within our organization so they can see it. So I've got one of my colleagues here, Megan. I can choose them and I can choose as many as I like. So choose Alex there as well. And then write them a short note and then send. So now that's sending them an email 
with that link in it which will allow them to open up the document but only to review it they won't be able to download and print now once I've shared in that way with people from my OneDrive I can always manage those links uh, afterwards so say I wanted to remove the block download from a link I could do that so I just need again to select the document so I've got my business case document selected here and I'm going to come over to the far right hand side and choose this little I, which is the details pane. Now, the details pane, as you've probably seen before, gives you some information, a preview on the document. And you've got this section called has access. And I can click on manage access. And that's going to show me all the different ways that other people can see that document. So you can see it's split into two sections here. It's the direct access at the bottom which is me, so that's basically I've got direct access to that file because it's my file, it's in my OneDrive and you can see there I'm the owner and if I scroll up a bit you can see I've got these links as well if you remember we just created two links, one was an anyone link that I could share with anyone the second one was a, a link that people in my organisation could use and they're both listed here, so you can see both of them here I could copy them here if I wanted to but I can also go using this ellipsis, just click on and that will take me to the settings of the link. And you can see here that I can remove the link by pressing this button and click delete link. And that will remove the link from this list. So now that link that I previously shared with my Gmail user no longer works. So that's great if I want to block access to that file completely. But what if I wanted to just switch off the block download and allow them to download it? You'll notice that if I go into the ellipsis of this link, the link settings are can view and block download, but they're both grayed out. If you hover over this little eye icon here, you can see that you can't change the permissions once they've been set. You'd need to create a new link. So the way you do that is just by removing this link. Then you press delete link. Now that link has been deleted. And then to allow download, you just go to share people in Contoso and now this time you'd allow editing or you could switch off allow editing but just not toggle on the block download depending on what you need. So I said I'd show you SharePoint as well so here I am in a SharePoint team site and happily all the same methods apply here so we can select our document go up to the share button at the top here and when we click in to create our link you can see there's a slight difference here in that in my SharePoint site, the anonymous option is disabled. So that's been done by the system administrator in this case. But I can share a link with the people in my organization by selecting that. And if I wanted to block download, I just uncheck allow editing and choose block download. Then apply to create the link. And then I just choose the people I want to send it to. So in this video, we looked at how to share a document and block it from being downloaded or printed. Thanks for watching and see you next time.